This is a dual hub ADVPN setup where we have hub one in our primary data center and hub two in our secondary data center. The hubs themselves are simply the VPN orchestrators uh, that communicate with all of the branches or the spokes and allow them to communicate with each other, build the IPsec tunnels uh, and, uh, and negotiate um, all the, the traffic flows. What this video is about is showing um, that the configuration we have here for ADVPN can actually take any ISP. It's a BYO ISP. Um, so on the fly, you can change providers, change IP addresses and so on. So right now we have a ping going from our host 2.2.2.1 uh, up to our hub. And we're actually gonna another ping from this host over to this branch. Now, if we come up here to hub number one and we refresh our IPsec configuration, we see that our VPN tunnel is from 11 to 11, 11.2. That is the WAN IP or the, the internet IP of branch two. You can see that right here. Additionally, since we have that ping going across uh, to 3.3.3.1, if we refresh our branch three IPsec table, we see we have that direct tunnel going, the direct IPsec tunnel going from branch two to branch three with that WAN address. So let's let's get that first ping going again, and let's act like we're um, changing ISP providers here. So first, obviously, we're going to disable this interface. So when we disable this interface, what's going to happen is the the tunnel we built up uh, across the the WAN two port, which is the other overlay. Uh, which is this overlay here across the cable and DSL. And that has a higher latency, as we can see, it's 22 milliseconds. Uh, so let's come in here and change this IP address to some random IP. Let's do 151. Uh, right, so we just got a brand new ISP. We swapped it out. We did, we're not doing any configurations whatsoever. Um, and we're not doing any configurations whatsoever on the hubs because uh, the hubs don't care. It's BYO ISP. So we should see that tunnel come up and we should see the latency drop back down because the latency across that primary circuit, which is our fiber circuit or our MPLS circuit is much quicker. Now this is gonna take some time because one, the IPsec tunnel needs to come up and two, BGP needs to establish. That's probably gonna take about 25, 30 seconds. And here you go. We are dropped back down to our normalized fast path which is across that fiber MPLS. If we refresh our screens here, uh, see so we see 11, 11, 11 .2. If we refresh our screen, we see that that has now changed over to the 151 address. So that actually proves that you can bring your own ISP, switch it out, swap it out. Um, all you gotta do is make the change in your branch. There's absolutely nothing that you need to do on the hub side. It's nice. Let's, let's do that ping uh, test over to our other branch. And let's refresh this, right? This used to say 11, 11, 11, 2. And since it's dynamic, it brings with new IP. So that just proves that uh, this ADVPN SD-WAN configuration is very dynamic and very agile uh, and works with your business um, as you upgrade, change ISPs. Or if your ISP doesn't provide a static uh, IP address, if it's DHCP, it will still work. There's absolutely nothing that you need to do. Uh, it's fully dynamic.